Hey, it's Nay, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Timberland Everly Gladiator Sandal. So for context, when I was scrolling on social media last week, I saw an ad for these sandals. When I first looked at them, I said, I know these people did not take one of their boots, cut some holes in it, and then call it a pair of sandals. So I kept scrolling. So the next day I was scrolling on social media and I see another ad for the same sandals. But this time when I looked at them, I say, you know what? Those actually aren't that bad. So one trip to Amazon and $130 later, and here we are. So let's see what's inside the box. Dun, 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 dun. So this will be my first time actually analyzing these shoes. I opened the box when it first got delivered just to make sure that there were actually shoes in the box. But other than that, I didn't really get a chance to look at the shoes. So if this is your first time seeing the shoes, looks like we'll be sharing this experience together. And there you have it. It literally looks like a Timberland boot with some holes cut in it. So if you ask me, the shoe is kind of reminiscent of those big sandals that we used to wear in the early 2000s. And that's probably why these appealed to me because they have like a, there's like a nostalgia that comes to me when I look at these. So one of the concerns I heard from women that I talked to about these shoes and the people who were commenting on social media was about the weight of the shoe. Of course, if you intend on buying a pair of sandals ahead of summertime, you don't wanna have some type of heavy shoe weighing down your foot. And it's a well-known fact that Timberland boots are very heavy. What I can say from holding these in my hand is that they're actually not that heavy and the weight is almost comparable to like a pair of thick wedges that you would wear in the summertime. But I'm still curious to find out what's the weight difference between these sandals and a pair of Timberland boots. So to get to the bottom of this dilemma, I did what any sane person would do in this situation. I bought a brand new pair of Timberland boots. Now let's go get the scale and run some numbers. So here I have the Timberland boots, the Everly Timberland sandals, and two pairs of my favorite wedges for comparison. Also wanted to note that all of these shoes are a nine and a half, except for these boots, which are a nine and a half wide. And I also have my kitchen scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these shoes and I'm gonna weigh one shoe so we can get a good feel for how heavy these Everly Timberland sandals are. Okay, so we're gonna start with the wedges that I already have in my closet so that we can get an accurate feel for how heavy women's wedge sandals are. And the weight is gonna be in grams. So I'm gonna start with the black pair. 373 grams. Okay, now for the tan pair, 361 grams. Now a Timberland boot. A hefty 630 grams. Damn. And for the Everly Summer Sandal, 631 grams. Y'all, I'm surprised. When I was over at the table, you could have never told me that this shoe weighs twice the amount of a shoe that I'm used to wearing all the time. And then to top it off, this sandal weighs more than the boot. I guess the fears that everybody had about the weight was true, but let's see how it feels on my foot. It don't feel too bad. What do you think? So these shoes actually don't feel too bad. Um, you know, sometimes you could put on some wedge shoes or just shoes in general and they'll have like that weird arch thing right here on the inside of the shoe. It doesn't have that. These are definitely wide foot friendly, but I will warn you that they are not wide ankle friendly. So I do feel a little bit of tightness 
around my ankle after I zip it up. And so like, if you plan to wear these and you know, go out drinking or partying or whatever, just be weary because if them ankles get swollen, these shoes are not gonna zip up. As far as the weight is concerned, I guess because I'm used to wearing Timberland boots and just shoes in general, like different kinds of shoes, I can't really say that the weight of these shoes would actually stop me from wanting to wear these shoes. Like they literally just feel like normal shoes once they're on your feet. The other thing is from the top view, every time I take a step, I do notice that it kind of like spreads out in this area and it looks weird from the top, but I don't think anybody would be able to see that from the side or while you're out walking around. If anything, they're gonna be too busy focusing on how stylish your feet are in these innovative shoes that ain't nobody got. So as far as outfit ideas are concerned, you can pretty much wear the summer version of any kind of outfit that you would wear in the winter with your Timberland boots. You got basic jeans and a white t-shirt. I think this is a, a classic look. Classic, simple, and I feel like it allows the shoes to be the star of the outfit. So this is more of like a dressy, casual type of outfit. So I would wear this to like a dinner party where they're serving hors d'oeuvres on a platter and I'm gonna be on my feet the whole night and maybe I don't wanna wear heels because I wanna be comfortable and cute at the same time. You can never go wrong with a denim romper. I would probably wear this to a day party or brunch where I'm trying to be cute and comfortable. Well, you guys, these are the Timberland Everly Gladiator sandals. Let me know what you guys think about these shoes in the comments. So I've been wearing these shoes for about 30 minutes, changing in and out of outfits. And I can say that walking back and forth across the house, these are actually very comfortable. The only thing I'm worried about, like how I mentioned earlier, was this little part around my ankle. It definitely has been rubbing a little bit and you can feel the weight of the shoe around your ankle because that ankle opening is so tight. Um, the other thing is the zipper. It was kind of getting stuck as I was taking the shoes on and off, but hopefully that's something that'll loosen up over time. So I bought these shoes from Amazon so that I could send them back for free if I didn't like them, but it looks like I'll be holding on to these a little bit longer. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. See you next time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo.